Well, families and social workers packed Philadelphia City Council chambers concerns about the reporting of child abuse and custody battles front and center at an emotional hearing. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden was there. He joins us now from City Hall. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening. Ever since laws were put on the books in Pennsylvania following the Jerry Sandusky scandal, calls about suspected child abuse have shot up. And in its wake, the reputed statistic that the Department of Human Services here in Philadelphia removes the most children in the country, they face some heavy criticism at this hearing. We didn't do nothing wrong. We're grandparents. Jeffrey and Virginia we, we McHale should, for years have been battling for custody of their crazy. grandchildren. Their daughter, Brittany, caught in a drug addiction, had this document notarized, asking that her five and 10 year old sons be sent to her parents' stable and healthy home. That never happened. No custody because they live in New Jersey. A teary eyed Jeffrey McHale testified. My grandchild do not see each other often despite repeated requests. A series of painful, angering accounts flowed freely in city council chambers. A hearing on the city's human services department. It was triggered after Councilman David O was investigated over a claim of child abuse. What happened to me was a peak behind the window and what I saw was not good. The Republican councilman was cleared, but the experience left a bad taste. It let loose a floodgate of complaints. Figures from the department show in 2018, more than 19,000 families were reported. In the end, children were removed from some 700 families. I think the things that we're upsetting to hear about today is the maltreatment that happens to kids once they come into the system and something that we've been aware of and actually have been reducing over time. The McHale story was the lightning rod. Their daughter, Brittany, now dead, and the children's own grandparents unable to protect them from abuse in the system. My grandson was molested in, in a, a foster home. He should have been removed and checked out at a hospital and they left them there. So as a result of you guys speaking up, what yes. did the judge do? The judge put a gag order on her and took away our unsupervised visits. Well, and the judge in that case is family court judge Joseph Fernandez. We called his chambers. A woman who answered the phone said he would not comment on pending matters. Now, as for DHS, they do not comment on specific cases. The McHale grandchildren, by the way, we are told it is feared they will be put up for adoption in the very near future. Live outside City Hall, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.